Mr. Kitfaz, we had yesterday the speech um, of the leader about integration, about the contribution of other uh, communities in this country. And as the head of Home uh, Affairs Committee, um, so how do you see a future policies by a, a future Labour government would work different than it worked in the past? Well, we don't know because we've not got a government for the next few years. We've got a chance of building on the successes that we achieved in 13 years and fashioning an even better policy. We did a lot for the ethnic minority communities, but we've got to do a lot more. And now we have a chance in opposition to refashion those policies. So, apart from the you know the, the previous like policies and immigration, many issues. Do we expect really any big change, or will the government you know any future or shadow government? Uh, in well, I hope so. I think what Ed has set out is a clear path and a vision for the party. He's right to centre on the new generation. The new generation for our community was born in this country. They don't didn't come here as first generation immigrants, as my parents did, or Ed and David's parents have done. Uh, so from that point of view, I think we can make great progress. I think Ed's speech yesterday was um, excellent, and what we need to do is build on that success uh, of the last 13 years and provide a pathway for our communities. There are 750,000 people of Arab origin living in Britain, three quarters in London. People look at the Edgware Road and they say, oh, that's uh, Little Arabia. But actually, the Arab community is all over the country. But they don't have a political voice except if it's about issues to do with Iran, Iraq and those countries. They need to have a mainstream political voice here. Mr. Faz, you have worked closely with Tony Blair, with Gordon Brown, and now it seems you are also in good terms with Ed Miliband. So, in terms of like, you know, policies and attitudes towards, you know, Middle East issues, Arab, um, you know, Arab issues, Iraq, Palestine, do we expect a change in approach? Well, we have to wait and see. He's got his own style and um, I've known him since he was 20. So I have every confidence and hope that he will be the great prime minister that he showed he is capable of being. When it comes to Arab issues, you just mentioned about how the Arab community is only concentrating on issues related to them. Yeah. So what do they lack to be part of the political system? They should join country? political parties. I'd like them to join the Labour Party. They should be active. They should be around, they should be influential, all those things. That's what I want to see for the British Arab community. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.